All right, folks. I took a two-week break from playing tanks. And it was nice. It was refreshing. But the next patch, 1.24.1, is just around the corner. And the biggest change that kinda needs some prep work for is the crew skills or training efficiency update. And that is a big conversion button of turning excess crews into XP booklets or manuals. So the more you can get out of this, the better, right? You can only use it once. And it is pretty rare of an event like turning a tier 10 vehicle to a tier 8 premium, like with the Centurion. So rarely it happens, but the more you can get out of it, the better, right? So we already covered all the other stuff on the common test, like the Polish tank destroyers or vehicle rebalancing, the map reworks, all the other stuff before I took the break. And in the meantime, they came out with an article about the crew skill stuff. So a little bit more detail, but practically the same stuff we already covered on the common test, more concise. So let's quickly go through this again, but it's basically the retraining and without the penalty to basically the vehicle efficiency, they call it a different type of name, but still it's practically efficiency, right? Practically, it's not as effective on the perks. So there's a debuff, but technically it's still training in a sense. But yeah, I already covered all this. I already had the JPEGs. So you probably already saw these JPEGs, but this is the difference between the current live server and the common test going to 1.24.1. So on the non-trained vehicles, this vehicle is trained for the HWK-30, currently in the Leopard, the VK-16. So it will be trained to 100%, but there will be a debuff to the perks with this little red icon. So it's not exactly in this vehicle, therefore there's a debuff to the perks. But non-100% crews will be trained to 100%, but basically above, right? So still nice, you get a XP buff to the first skills like recon or off-road driving or other stuff, but that's nice. The change to a more skilled crew is not as prominent as compared to a under 100% crane crew, right? So only a 69% to 92 compared to like dramatically 77%. But then again, from 1% to 2%, the XP needed is not as crazy as like 98% to 99% so there's a curve to the XP needed at higher levels especially with more crew skills but two crew skills yeah less of a noticeable change in the XP still is a buff still there's a buff but not as crazy right but third skill not even yeah not even two digits of a percentage change so you'll notice it and even though there's a big gap, as you see from 99% to 51%, it is less skill. It's a third skill compared to a fourth skill. So therefore, obviously, XP is the XP curve thing. You already know. So I already cover all these, but it would not make a dent to a six skill crew member. So it doesn't even make half a percentage change. Jesus. So obviously, that is the big stuff, but... There are some stuff you have to do for the prep work. So I already put it into a nice notepad, but you can only click the conversion button once, which is only available for 90 days after the patch hits. So make sure you check in and convert all the crews. But this button is affecting all the barracks, not all your vehicle. So it does not affect crew members in the tanks, only affects the barracks. So only these crew members will be changed you'll see the list but it is different than the actual amount of crews currently in your barracks because currently i have 205 in the bunks in the barracks and other crew members are in the tanks so they don't count but yeah only 187 are being converted so obviously there are a few that are missing out or not being converted and we're going to use this guideline to make the most use out of it but conversion only works once with the button stuff barracks with all the 100% crews basically from 
rental tanks or premium tanks, but more barrack slots means obviously more XP will be converted, duh. So hopefully you have more barrack slots, but mass recruiting currently 50% crews or 75% crew doesn't yield as much XP as 100% crews under one skill trained. So basically you want rental crews like Amazon Prime, the frontline rentals if you already have it or the crews originally from frontline rentals and onslaught rentals so seven versus seven, seven onslaught currently it's the minotauro the amx m4 and the cs 63 but put the crews into your barracks before they're going to be removed once the patch hits so yeah the patch will remove the rental tanks i think i saved the jpeg this is from Amazon Prime, one of the rental tanks, you get four man crew, so obviously choose more crew members if you have the barrack slots or doesn't want to convert your own crews. But the seven versus seven rental tank, I took a screenshot from the live server, but yeah, put these crews into your barracks and they'll be converted, right? So the rental tanks, the other rental tanks, originally from missions way back when, I don't play them, already have the vehicles or counterparts, but. Yeah, they'll be converted into XP booklets, which is half nice, but original premium tanks, you don't need crews for premiums, they come with a crew usually, like a 100% crew, but you use like your 5 skill level or 6 skill level crew members, not the original plain ones, so they should be utilized in your barracks slots, but I mostly have them, so click on your barracks, click on the filters, Click on this first button in the barracks, and you can see a bunch of the the Mittler Kumpf Panzer 68P, PR68P. But these are basically the stock crews, the 100% crew. Actually, this is not stock. They have brothers in arms, so this guy will not be converted. Never mind. <laughs> they actually have brothers in arm as free skill. Or the, okay, this is a little bit better. Better example, <laughs> the Marrow Breaker. It's a rental tank, a rental or one of which, but I think this was from Amazon Prime package, but does not have Brothers in Arm as a zero skill crew perk without the little white circle thing. So this guy will be converted compared to this guy. This guy would not be converted. It's a zero skill perk. So this is special crew member and there's a bunch. So if you've been playing World of Tanks for a long time, you could have gotten IS-2M, right? The Tetrarch or M MS1. <laughs> Ew. So there's a bunch of premium tanks that could be converted into training booklets, like the Obsidian, the Titty. So they'll be here, but some vehicles have to shift them out. Like, I already have a lot of crew skills, like three crew skills or special crews. These are taking up spots in the barracks for actual convertible crew members, right? So, put ineligible crews into premium tanks or low tier vehicles. So, for example, I have the Mittler Kumpf Panzer thing. So, let's put them into other vehicles that you don't need or currently don't have the space for. For example, I have a light tank. I, I could just put the. Technically, you could put the medium tank crews, right? So, in the barracks, commanders, not special commanders. These are recruitable per people thing. You cannot put freaking. You cannot put medium. Oh, there you go. Put unqualified medium tank crews in the barracks, though. There you go. In the barracks, Mitter Kampf Panzer. He's a special crew. He gets a debuff because he's not trained for light tanks, but also not trained for this vehicle. But. He will take up a spot in the barracks, right? So put him into this slot, and now he'll be freed up in the barracks. Wait, 205 still? How many do I have? Is it going over? Let, let me just shift a bunch of people in here that's not supposed to be here. Let's see, medium tanks. Uh, these people can be converted, they, they don't count. All right, let's just go with my T30. <laughs> I should do the prep work before I do the video. <laughs> I know I have a bunch of T30 crew members. Let's see. With skills. American. 
T30. I have two T30 members. One's a loader, one's a radio operator. And the K91. I have a bunch of crew skills. Driver, loader, and commander. So we don't need them. I think it maxed out. I think I put all the rental tank crews into the barracks. And it glitched up or something. <laughs> Alright, so basically, go to American tanks. Go to any vehicle. Or even premium, doesn't matter. Put the excess crews, like the T30. So... In barracks, training. I hate the new UI, it sucks ass. This guy's currently in the T30. This guy's currently in the T30. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Just put all the vehicle equipment that's not in vehicles. These guys are in vehicles. I want the guys in the barracks. There you go. That's much better. So just shift all the people that you have in the barracks that are not convertible into premium tanks and they'll just sit there before the conversion button hits like a rapture thing. But uh, K91 is a... Uh, technically you can also use a freaking light tank for it. Technically, right? I mean, it doesn't work well, but... Not vehicles, barracks. Train for medium tanks. Yeah, you can put them there. You can just, sh tear, just shove them in there. It doesn't matter. Uh, medium tanks. Yeah, he's not trained for this vehicle, but I'll shove him in there. So this should free up. Yeah, I freed up some barracks. So, so yeah, I glitched the system <laughs> by putting all the rental crews in there. But this will free up more of the spaces for more of the rental crews, right? So now I can put basically the rental crews like these guys into barracks so these are not brothers in the arm crew they have the training but they're up below 100% or they're below one skill training so they're above 100% so you get all the XP return the crew to the barracks and this should be zero barrack slots yep should be 191 compared to 187 originally started yep 191. So that's how you basically convert all the stuff. <laughs> Original premium tank crews are not one uh, zero perk skilled. Put ineligible crews into premiums. Special crews, celebrities, zero skills, special events will not be converted. So like Arnold or Chuck, they will not be converted. But especially the Lanchester car crew could be converted but they're technically considered as a special event with the lanchester 2x4 car right but that is the crew from this jpeg this event happened like seven years ago <laughs> i still have the crews they're not zero skilled brothers the arm crew they're not that special but they have a special crew skin technically so they could be converted so if you click on crew members to be converted, go all the way down to British. Uh, what the hell is that? That guy with the little hat. Yeah, this guy, the loader. It's that guy. So I have the rest of the crew in the actual British light tank. So they're not being converted because I already have them in the garage. So they're in the vehicle. But yeah, those are the only crew that I noticed that could be converted when they're considered as special. So these are the actual Lanchester car crew in my settler, but yeah. yeah they, why is the name different? Pepper. Interesting. The name is different, but technically there sh should be the same crew member. Okay, whatever, I guess. So special detail, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there you go, folks, basically. 15 minute video about converting so take some time some of the rental vehicles you could just basically convert the more spaces you can clean out the better right you get more stuff more xp out of your barrack slots but if you already have like 100 barrack slots or 50 it doesn't matter that much right so yeah this only happens once you only take advantage of it once so make sure you fully utilize all the conversion because some vehicles are taking up spots I have 205 I can only convert 191 so slowly clean out your barracks by pressing the filter button I hate this UI it sucks 
by pressing the filter button, click on this little garage check mark, and that should be all the crews in the garage, and slowly filter out vehicle crews like those with brothers in arms, and I think I have one for the Terminator. T-832, 832. But yeah, you have to slowly go through everything for the crew. Yeah, there you go. You will have crews sometimes with brothers in arms as zero skill perks. So put these guys into premium tanks temporarily before the patch hits or during the patch hits before you click on the conversion button. And afterwards, you'll convert them into more XP books by putting rental vehicle crews in their place like a bunch of these guys. So unfortunately, if you don't have like American crews for American swapping, so you can only do it for na nationality, you kind of put an American crew into a German vehicle. It doesn't work like that, but... Oh, there you go, folks. Oh. <laughs> so that is the biggest change. That is like one of the biggest change for World of Tanks. It's not like a tier 10 vehicle to tier 8, but... I mean, it is a buff to lower end of the curve so you will not see that many uh, tomatoes with like garbage 50% training of a crew skill and basically dragging the whole team down but then again skill issue <laughs> so I don't mind it but it's fine everybody gets buffed especially for the lower end of the curve but it's fine the Polish tank destroyers are fine everything else is fine they also did not nerf or they actually nerfed the AMX 50 Fosh B because the buff was too good. So they buff the engine power too much or the top speed too much and actually nerf it down a little bit. So this was while I was away, but yeah, there's his patch notes. So yeah, they reduced the engine buff on the Fosh B and the reverse speed and the aim time. Originally it was a little bit better of a buff, but not as much. So they nerf it slightly, but okay, whatever, still giant cupola on top. Well, there we go, folks. I'm back, so we'll be back to doing regularly scheduled programming, but yeah, I took a break. The break was nice. Much deserved. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> so as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Because I know that I'll be coming home soon And yes I know That I'll be coming home soon With a soldier's eyes With a soldier's eyes